How you doing? This is Jason uh, from Velocity. What we're going to go over today is the overhead med ball slam. So this is for some of you tennis athletes. Yes, I said tennis athletes. So we're going to work on you guys today. This is for any overhead athlete. We tend to see bad compensation patterns and loss of power through this med ball slam. So when you see the athletes always performing this drill, you always see them bring the med ball way behind their head. So I want to have Coach Hudson Red Heat himself come out here. All right, one of the strongest, fastest guys I know. He's gonna show us some of the poor extension patterns that we're talking about. And again, in sport, you don't wanna lose power. You wanna make sure you're stable enough to generate the power. And a lot of times, when we're in this position, as he's gonna show us inside you, he's gonna get in a good hip loading position. Again, just like Coach Kyle's video talking about hip hinging and progressions, we gotta load through this pelvis or the hip. Now, again, he's gonna show us the bad way, the extension, poor extension patterns through that lower back. So Andy's gonna load it up, he's gonna bring that med ball behind our head. From this mission, position, he's gonna hold it. As you can see, we have a huge curve in that lower back. He's blowing out through the core. He's losing a ton of power and stability through that hip. You can bring it down. So what we gotta make sure is that when we're coaching this up, we're queuing up the anterior part of that core. We're making sure we're staying tight. You don't want to open up and extend and pick up all that tension through that lower back. We're going to lose that stability in the hip. We don't want to lose that. So what we're going to do right here, again, Andy's going to get into a good hip hinge pad, putting that med ball right in front of his hip. All right. So it's almost like we're taking that med ball and tucking that hip back. It's a good uh, mental cue for the athlete to sit back. If that ball's in, you actually try to jam it or push it back, that athlete's gonna hit hip hinge or load through that hip. So from there, we're talking about good triple extension through the hip, knee, and ankle. So Andy's 50% is gonna show us he's gonna extend through the hip, get up on that ankle, and the med ball is gonna stay in front. You notice his core is disengaged, lumbar, neutral position form. From there, he's gonna slam down, decelerating through that hip, and try and generate the power through the core, torso, hips. So that's one of the most important aspects where you're not going to leak power out from that anterior front part of that stomach, all right? Because again, a lot of times we extend, not good. You're taking away a lot, you're leaving a lot on the table. This is Jason. I'll see you again soon.